Hello friends, uh, this is Nurmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some of the best features on Android 7.0. So the Android 7.0 is the latest version of Android and uh, it's rated to release uh, uh, this year and will be coming with uh, the new uh, Google devices. So it will be available for all the Nexus devices and it will come to other devices later. So we'll talk about the best uh, 10 features in Android 7.0 as of now. So these are some of the newer feature in uh, the stock Android. Now let's get started with uh, these features. First up, let's see the quick switch option. So quick switch is a new feature wherein you can quickly switch to the previous app you're running. Say for example, if I'm uh, opened Chrome and if I opened uh, another settings, uh, what you can do is just double tap on the uh, recent task key and you can quickly switch to Chrome. Say for example, if I double tap, it'll come back to Chrome. If I double tap again, it'll go back to the settings. So that is quick switch. It works uh, between the last two apps. So if I just change uh, from Chrome uh, to uh, say for example, Play Store. Uh, now if you double tap it will go to the settings double tap again it will go to the uh, play store uh, so that is uh, basically switching between the recent apps so that's another useful option now uh, if you if you have uh, noticed your previous video we already talked about uh, the multi window or uh, 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 the split view in android 7.0 so what you need to do is just press just select a screen and just press and hold uh, the multitasking button and it will uh, it will you can see that split window or the multi window is activated the first uh, uh, window will be the application which you have selected when you press the multitasking option then you can uh, select uh, the second option uh, any other app uh, you can just go here and this is the multi window option uh, in uh, Android 7.0 so just if you want to close it uh, just press and hold this and this will come back so we already done a detailed video on multi window so you can uh, also check out that video to get more details on multi window so next option is in Chrome, uh, if you are running uh, multiple tabs in Chrome, what you can do is, uh, uh, for example, right now we are running, uh, we are opened uh, our website. Now if you press and hold, uh, now it will go to split screen, uh, as I said before. Now what you can do is, uh, if you are, uh, uh, if you want uh, YouTube in Chrome in a different video, what you can do is, uh, you can see here, uh, this uh, to move to other window. So here you can see now Chrome has two windows at the same time, uh, both are Chrome, one is uh, our website and one is YouTube. So this option is available in multi window just click here and move to the other window so that will help you run our two uh, chrome tabs at the same time. So next feature in Android 7.0 is the option to clear all the recent tasks. So previously if you had to just swipe uh, each of the app uh, to uh, clear them. Now you can see there is a clear all button available at the top. It should have been ideally at the bottom because you never see it at the top. If you click here, uh, all the recent apps will be cleared. So that option has been now added to uh, Android 7.0. Now another feature is that uh, if you see the wallpapers, uh, you can if you select a particular wallpaper. Uh, now if you if you select a set wallpaper, now you can select uh, uh, the lock screen wallpaper. Previously, uh, whatever wallpaper was set, it will be de by default available to the lock screen as well and home screen. Now you can selectively uh, put a wallpaper to the lock screen and uh, to the home screen. That has been added in uh, Android 7.0. Now another useful feature is if you are uh, 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 side loading apps, uh, you actually know where you install the app from. So if, if you go to all apps list, uh, you can if you just select an app uh, which has been installed uh, from the Play Store. Say for example, if you just go here at the bottom, you can see app details, app installed from the Google Play Store. And uh, now if you are installed uh, uh, by side loading the app, it will also show that it has been installed from a third party installer and not from the Google Play Store. So you can actually know whether the app was uh, installed installed from the play store or somebody side loaded it onto your device so that's another useful feature in android 7.0 now one of the newer features is the notification say for example if you are uh, installed facebook and uh, you have just uploaded a photo and uh, you get a lot of comments likes on the photo so when but by default what happens is uh, so facebook will throw notifications for each of these and your notification center will be completely filled with uh, facebook uh, notifications but now what uh, what uh, android 7.0 has done is it will uh, it will bundle all the notifications you can see now gmail have two emails and uh, uh, it will it will bundle the 
Beam application and you can just swipe in and uh, uh, get all the independent notifications. Similarly, this is for Gmail and uh, similarly you can do for Facebook, Twitter and other other stuff. So that's kind of useful because uh, you can just expand the notification and it will be grouped according to the app. Uh, so that's another useful feature in Android 7.0. Now another feature in Android 7.0 is uh, the data saver option. If you go here, uh, you can see data usage and if you click here, uh, there is a data saver option that will help you save data uh, when you are on a limited data plan so that's a uh, kind of useful uh, here you can see the data saver and you can just uh, turn it on so here you can enable the data saver and uh, what you can do is you can uh, see what, which all apps are taking up uh, uh, data and uh, you can uh, selectively disable uh, data access to the particular app that means a particular app is taking up huge data you can just prevent uh, un uh, data access uh, to that app uh, and that will not take up a uh, huge data in the background so it's a useful feature if you are on a limited data plan on android 7.0 Another uh, change to uh, the Android 7.0 is a quick setting. So uh, previously, if you just uh, swipe down, uh, you can uh, you, you had uh, uh, to swipe all the way down to get all the quick toggles. Now we have this. Uh, so from here, you can quickly toggle these options. Now another feature is uh, the new settings uh, panel. So you can see here settings panel has gone in for a change. We have this uh, suggestions uh, in the uh, I mean uh, the menu where you, where uh, the device gives you suggestion uh, to what to do. Now you can say see a screen lock uh, fingerprint scanner can be added. You can use okay Google uh, for your voice searcher. So these are options. Now another thing is that uh, you can just swipe uh, and uh, you can see the option gives you quickly to access the uh, different options. You can see wireless and network device personal uh, system so these are options available uh, these are available in these uh, options as well but you can quickly toggle between them uh, say for example if you just want to go to users you can just click here uh, notifications uh, all those things you can quickly access from here so this menu allows you to quickly uh, switch between uh, different uh, settings available in the device so these are some of the newer features in Android 7.0. Uh, so uh, these features will be available in the final version as well. Uh, some more features might be added. We'll update uh, when we have uh, more features coming up in the final build. So these are some of the 10 best features in Android 7.0. Hope you like this video. If you have the Nexus device, you can uh, install uh, Android 7.0 and try it out. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.